Hello everyone and welcome back for another ROS tutorial. In today's tutorial I will show you how you can create a publisher in ROS using Python. But before we go into that I just want to say thank you all for your nice comments and for your likes and subscribes. I really appreciate it. I got a comment two hours ago from Kadir telling me to continue the tutorials and especially Python. And I haven't done any Python tutorials, so I thought I would make um, four new tutorials where I show you how to create a ROS subscriber, a ROS uh, publisher, a ROS service, and a ROS service client in Python. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, or like the video. Uh, or if you have any questions, just comment them I, and I will try to answer them as quick as possible. I read all of your comments and, uh, and I really appreciate it and it really keeps me motivated. So feel free to do anything of that. So let's start this tutorial. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is that I want to create my project folder because I had deleted my older ones. So I'm sorry for that. So thank there. And I will just call it Python Catkin or something. So then I want to go into my Python Catkin and I want to create a new folder called source. And before I go into that folder, I just want to run catkin underscore make to build the project. So now when I've done that, what I want to do is that I want to go into my source folder here. And in here, what I want to do is that I want to build my uh, catkin package or my ROS package. So to do this, what I do is that I type catkin underscore create underscore package like this. And then the name of the package. So I will just call it tutorials and then a space and then i want to add two dependencies which i want to have in this package and that is ross pi and it's std underscore and messages like this and then i just hit enter so ross pi is the library for ross uh, to python and standard messages is uh, a uh, ross specific library for uh, with messages so hit enter and now you have successfully created the package. So what I want to do now is that you want to open up your favorite code editor. And if you remember, my is Visual Studio Code, so I will use it. Then I want to go to File, Open Folder, and I want to find my um, ROS package, which I created. So I will open up that one. So it should be Python Catkin Source Tutorial. So uh, don't go too deep in here. You want to have this one, which is which I call tutorials. I think there is one in here which is called source. Yeah, right. So you don't want to pick that one. You want to have these tutorials here. So select this one. Then in here, what you want to do is that you want to create a new folder which is called scripts, like this. And uh, in that one, what we want to do is we want to create a new file. And in here, I'm going to create the, the Python script. So the Python script, we will call, uh, we will call it publisher underscore node dot py, like this. And the first line, which we actually want to add, it's just a basic Python line. So square uh, explanation mark slash user slash bin slash env like this and what this does is just that it executes the script as python so that's good to have the next thing that we want to add is a import so we want to import ros pi which i mentioned earlier was the is the library for uh, ros to python and we also want to import from std underscore messages dot msg and we want to import string from there. So this is a message, ROS message type, which we are going to use. And the next thing that we want to do is that we want to create the, the basic uh, main function. Uh, so if underscore underscore name equals underscore underscore main underscore. Oh, sorry for that one. Uh, like this, then we want to try, and then we're going to call a function which we are going to define soon. Uh, I would call this uh, function talk underscore to underscore me, like this. So we will create this soon. 
And then we want to add an exception. So except ros pi dot ros interrupt exception. And then we just want to pass. So uh, this ros interrupt ex exception here, which we added, this one is if we cancel the script uh, with control C or if we um, stop the application or, or the node in some case. So what we want to do next is just that we want to define this function talk to me. So we're going to do that. So define uh, talk underscore to me. And the first line which we want to add here is actually a, we want to create a object, a publisher object. So we'll call it pub. Then we will uh, from this ROS pi package, we want uh, or library, we want to call something called publisher, like this. And this takes three arguments. The first one is the name of the topic which we are going to publish. So in this case, the we can call it uh, as we say talk to me. We can call it for a talking topic. Just like this, talking topic. So we will recognize it. Then we want to mention which type we are going to, which type of message we are going to publish. And as you can see, we imported string here. So this is the one we are going to use. So I will type string. Oh, sorry. And the last one is the queue size. And this is how many messages we can have in the queue before we delete some. Uh, I will not go into depth what that is, but you can set it to 10 for now. So the next thing that we want to do is that we want to initialize the node. And to do this, what we do is that we type rospy dot init underscore node. So init underscore node is the function. And the first thing that we want, this takes two arguments. The first one is the name of the node. So we will just call it publisher underscore node. And the other argument we want to type as anonymous, anonymous equals true uh, with a big T like this. And uh, so publisher node is the name of our node anonymous equals true what this does is that if we created two of these nodes this one will get a number the it will create a unique number after the name so the nodes will have unique names the first one and the second name second node won't have the same name so we'll have publisher node one and publisher node two so we can't have two named publisher node so that's what anonymous equals true does. So the next object that we want to create is called rate. So when we type rospy.rate and in here we want to set a rate in Hertz. So uh, this, uh, this rate object here has a function called sleep, which tells uh, how long Ross will sleep before it uh, wakes up again. So uh, this is mentioned in Hertz. So I will put one in here. So we will uh, sleep for one second. Next up, we want we will create a while loop, and we'll create a while not. And here we want to call something called rospy is underscore shut down. So as long as the node is running, we will run in this while loop. So what we want to do here is that we want to define a message. So this will be just a normal string. So a message equals, and I will type something like hello, email, dash, and then a percentage s. So we will add in a string in here. And then we add a percentage and we'll call another ROS function from this library, ROSPy, which is called get underscore time, like this. So it will give us the current time in milliseconds. And then we want to publish a, ma a message with our pub here. So we type pub.publish 
and then we want to publish the message. So msg we add in there. And then we will call our rate.sleep function. So rate.sleep like this. So this is actually everything we need to add into our publisher node. So it's very simple. Uh, it's a very simple example, which we are going through here. I just want to add one thing before we uh, run this. So I want to add in here, I want to call rospy.log info. So we want to log a message that we have actually started the publisher node. In my C++ tutorial, I forgot to do this, so it didn't publish anything, but I think it's more convenient if we see a message that the node actually started. So I will just type publisher node started. And now publishing messages like this. So, so now you can hit save. And the next thing that we want to do is just that we want to go into this CMake lists. And in here, we just want to add actually one function. And this is very important. You need to add this under catkin, uh, which you see catkin package function here. So you see this one, you need to add it below this one. So you can, add, uh, if you add it uh, above it here, you will get an error message, but if you add it below here, it will work. So you, here you can type catkin underscore install Python. And then you say programs scripts slash, and then the name of our node publisher underscore node dot pi. And then we want to add here destination large and uh, a dollar sign and then brackets and in here we want to type catkin underscore package underscore bin destination so this line here so what you can do now is that you hit save and make sure you have saved both your publisher node and your cmake list and then what you can do is that you open up your terminal and in here you go back to your project folder so i will go back one step so i am in python underscore catkin and from here i run catkin underscore make to build it then i want to source it all source the devil dot setup dot bash script which is here, uh, which is located in the, the devil, fo devil folder. So I just hit enter. And what I do next is that I will type ROS run to run my new node. And then I want to say the name of the package. So the name of the package is tutorials. And the name of the node is publisher underscore node.py you can hit tab here but i just want to write it out so so you see how you find it so now if i hit enter uh, oh before i hit enter here what this is important i have forgotten one thing and that is to start my ROS core so i will do that and to do that what i do is just that i will open up a new terminal and in here i want to type ROS core so this will start the, Ro the ROS core for me, so I can create nodes to this one. So now if I hit enter, we see here that we get an info message saying publisher node started, now publishing messages. So what I can do now is that I can open up a new terminal, so I will just do it like this. And in here I can type ROS topic list. To see all of the topic which is published now from the ROS core. So we have three topics. It's ROS out, ROS out underscore ag, and this talking underscore topic. And this talking underscore topic is the one which we created in our publisher node. If you remember, we said here uh, talking underscore topic. 
So we said Rust Pi Publisher, and then we said the name of the topic. So it's talking underscore topic. So if I go back to the terminal here, I see that we have it here. So if we want to see the messages, which is published in talking underscore topic, what I do is that I type Ross topic echo, and then the name of the Ross topic, which I want to echo. So I type slash talking underscore topic like this. And now if I hit enter, I can see how I got, got a message every second published and I can see that it says hello Emil and then the current time in milliseconds. So that's how you create a simple uh, publisher in Python in ROS. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and if you have questions Please comment them or if you want to say something else, uh, I, re I read every comment as I said in the beginning of the video. So see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day guys.